The fifth and final flat race of Trials Day 4 is by far the longest and it's a two mile four furlong event so it's the full Ascot Gold Cup trip except we're not running at Ascot, we're running at Newmarket just to be mischievous and you can't test your Gold Cup horses out on the right track <laughs> At the top it's Captain Paddy and Elmar Mulbard for Alex Cherry Captain Fame, Craig Beckwith, Lux, Julianne for Darren Thompson, Penny Fan Monty for David Robertson, Philly Eagle and Tayside Tiger for Matt Cooper, Long War Moonass, Boo Naji and Tall Oaks Obi Wan, Duke of Dremoyne, Padraig Hogan, Devilish Game Darren Thompson, Capagal Martini, Dan Hughes, Evasive Caller, Dan Hughes, Indian Chalice, Martin Little, Mig Mucklebones, Martin Little, Want Speed, Munas Mustang Sally for Paul Rose, Dia Shana Sister and October End for Graham Clutterbuck and Star of Amy. Or Stu Gray, so we're well, filled in the 20s, they're around that sort of size today. And away they go, downhill start. I still only take the one turn, despite the fact this is a two and a half mile race. I don't actually do have any two and a half mile races at Newmarket in reality. The Cesaro, which is two and a quarter, I can't think of one that's two and a half, but obviously they've got a position for their stools right at the top of this hill. And it's Luxulan who's in the lead. So you say, Tayside Tiger is in second. In October end and Philly Eagle. He feels pretty tightly grouped. Luxulan in the lead. Let's see if David Royce has got on this. He has which one of those two is going to take the third win and be the champion flat train of a trials day four. Or is somebody else going to win one? Well, it's Luxulan who's in the lead at the moment and clear by a good. Four or five lengths to so October end in second, and Tayside Tiger is in third, Elm Marble Bard is in fourth, and Philly Eagle and Long War. After that one, Evasive Caller and Captain Paddy, Star of Amy. And let's just drop back a little bit and towards the back. Penny Fan Monty is just the back marker. And he's probably no more than seven or eight lengths off second, which is about 14 lengths off the lead. Well, it looks you that in the lead. Here by about five or six to Tayside Tiger in second. Long Warrior, and that was inside then October End. Follows him with Philly Eagle, Diashana Sister. The Grey Evasive Caller is up there as well. Star of Amy on the wide outside. And after that, we've got Indian Chalice, who's also close up. Um, Captain Paddy's also nice to play them towards the back. Devilish game is now the back marker. So Darren Thompson top and tail in the field. You know, one inside the final mile and a half now. And Luxe Julianne is in the lead only by about four now. To Long Wall is a clear second. Gap of three lengths or so. Then back to Elmar Moore Bard in third. And that one's inside his Tayside Tiger. Then Tall Oaks and Indian Chalice. Diashana's sister wider still. Even wider than that one is Star of Amy. Then the white jacket of Want Speed is trying to get through with October end on that one's inside. And plenty with chances if they can get to the leader. That leader is Luxu Lan, who's four lengths clear from the all conquering Thompson Yard. Shouldn't be given too much of a lead. We have Long War in second. Want Speed has now moved through into third, and it looks like that one is going to be the one that's going to try and come out of the pack and challenge the long time leader as they hit the final mile. Then Luxu Lan in the lead from Want Speed, who's now gone second. Long War still travelling cosily in third. October in Tayside Tiger and Diashana's sister. Tall Oaks is well placed. The one being pulled up at the back is Capagale Martini. So that one's calling it a day, and that's left Captain Paddy as the tail end Charlie. But it's Luxu Lan in the lead, then leading by about three. Three, two, want speed in second and October in third. Diashana sister wide on the track is fourth. Then down on this near side, Tayside Tiger, Druk of Jamon is trying to get into it. So it's Tall Oaks and Penny Fan Monty, Evasive Caller trying to hold his place, being scrubbed along Indian Chalice and made muggle bones. But it's Luxulan who's in the lead, clear by about two and a half. Do October end on the far side. On the near side, Tayside Tiger. The one that's dropped away a little bit now is want speed. Here comes the great Penny Fan Monty for David Robertson making a forward move. But it's Luxu Lan who's still in the lead with four to go. Luxu Lan leading by three lengths to October end in second. And then Penny Fan Monty, 
Bayside Tiger back in fourth. After that one, trying to run on his captain frame, but it's Luxulan who's still clearing. He's pulling the rest of them to the sword at the moment. Luxulan is about four clear of October End and Penny Fan Monty now running on. It's Darren Thompson from David Robertson. It's Luxulan who will be beginning to tie up with two furlongs to go, and the grey Penny Fan Monty is coming through. And here comes Darren Thompson, second horse, devilish game, and devilish game now comes through the challenge. Also still there is October End. These four are clear, surely between these no drunk of Dremont is trying to run on so too's nice Shana's sister but it's Devilish Game who's hit the front Devilish Game with a furlong to go he's now too clear and starting to pull away and it's going to be Devilish Game who's going to take the two and a half mile racing up towards the line it's going to be a three on the day for Darren Thompson Devilish Game takes him to the fast finishing die Shana's sister then Penny Van Monty and Mustang Sally from nowhere all the way back to Philly Eagle and Darren Thompson takes his third winner of the day you devilish game. Dyer Shana sister. The apple of Graham Clutterbuck's eyes, some would say, in second. Any fan, Monty third and Mustang Sally fourth. So it's devilish game for Darren Thompson, the winner. Dyer Shana sister for Graham Clutterbuck second. Penny fan, Monty David Robertson third. Mustang Sally for Paul Rogers running on nicely at the end. That one was fourth at October end for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.